Yo, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be using this deck, and the deck is just only cards that can go over the river. I haven't seen anyone else do this, so I thought I'd try it. If someone has, let me know. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the first match. First match here against a JF. Let's see what we got. So, got our Hog Rider, so I'm, I'm going to try to only place my cards so they hop over the river over my Dark Prince does. He does not, unfortunately. Technically, the skeleton barrel is going over the river, so I think it's fine to put it there. Ooh, bad east barrel. I don't know if I agree with that. Dark Prince does get a charge on the tower and an additional shot, so very good for us. Uh, go ahead and clear this one wall breaker. Can't take care of both of them, unfortunately. Don't really have a good counter the wall breakers in this deck, so might be a bit tough, but I'm sure we can find some work around it. Or work around. Alright. Hmm, goes for that. Not exactly what I want to see. Just going to have to tank majority of the damage with my Prince. Otherwise, that'd be a, too much damage on the tower that I really <laughs> don't want to take. I think this Prince will actually apply some sort of pressure. And it will lock into my healer, the Princess. So, very nice there. Going to go Dark Prince on these Wall Breakers. In the future, definitely going to want to save that. But. So, got a Dark Prince and Skeleton Barrel push once again. We'll get some death damage. He will get a Logger you Spirit. Yeah, that's fine. So he does he does have his uh, skeleton barrel again. Which isn't exactly optimal. Come on, ghost, put it in the work. Come on, I believe. Ghost, why would you do that? Alright, we got our ghost. So let's go for a hog rider the tank for the ghost. Hmm. Definitely not what we were looking for. But it is what it is, I guess. So, we're going to have to save this Dark Prince for his Skeleton Barrel in the future, because, you know, <laughs> his Skeleton... I don't really have a good counter for it. Oh, nice, I actually got my Prince down in time. I was, I was predicting he was doing that, so thankfully he did get the prediction off. Prince will also get a charge on the tower, so we can go for our Skeleton Barrel. Then we can go for our Ram Rider. Decent push cooking up right here. He is actually going to NATO. Oh, Prince will get a charge on the Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower gone, Hog Rider going. He does log, but I still have the Hog Rider and everything else going. Hog Rider will... Oh, no. He put his Valk down. It's going to get so much value against my Hogs. Definitely not good, but we will get some decent damage at the very least. Let's go Dark Prince here. Um, need to wait for that Valk to go up just a bit farther, I think. Ah, oh, no, I messed it up. Um, it doesn't matter too much. It won't get a lot of damage. Let's go for a Skeleton Barrel, then let's go for a Hog Rider, and let's go for our Ram Rider. Just keep spamming this guy. Ooh, the Ram Rider ability was actually so good. Oh, Larry! Oh, bro, Larry just clutched up. Larry is the absolute go undeniable at this point, guys. Oh my god, Larry actually just got so much damage for us. There's no way, dude. That Larry was the GOAT. Alright, on to the next match. Up against Tyler Jordan here. <laughs> We've got like almost all our win conditions in our hands, so that works out pretty well. Let's go for the hog. He does have E barbs, unfortunately. Definitely not what we're looking to see here. Let's go ahead and go for our Dark Prince. Then I'm going to place our Ram Rider like this so she hopefully hops over the river. Oh, she doesn't. I was hoping she'd hop over the river and it would help with the E barbs, but unfortunately she didn't. But all is good. She should still get a hit on the tower. Very nice. And we'll damage the E-Drag to the point where I don't have to do anything to it. At least I think so. Guess I'll see. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. He's actually going to go for a healer there. So we're going to go for a Skelly Barrel here to force him to do something. Um, so yeah, this definitely could... Oh, he messes up his rage. Oh, that was that was really good for us. Okay, we're going to go for that, and then let's go for Royal Hogs and Ghosts to pressure both lanes. I don't know what he just put, but it's got melted. Prince will get charged in e bar very good there. Prince will take care of most of the e barbs, so that's pretty good. Okay, nice. I think that was pretty good play on our end. Worked out very well. And let's go for a Ram Rider kind of high like this. Pull the healer back and do some damage to her. Electro Dragon will stop a Ram Rider for the most part. 
However, Rammeyer still should get hit on the tower, like last time. Yep, very nice. Alright, not bad, not bad. D got some decent damage there. <laughs> Thankfully, he messed up his rage on the Skeletor, but well, let me get so much damage on this tower. Go for the Hog again. He does have the Inferno Dragon this time, but that is still Swing. Very good. And... Let's go ahead and place our Skelly Barrel low. It's like my only defense for this Inferno Dragon. Yeah, this deck isn't very strong in countering air, we'll say that much. <laughs> See if he gives up this tower or not. I'm gonna, just going to go for Ghost of Spam. He is going to give up his left tower. Ghost will still apply pressure to the right one. He's actually not deciding the counter. I'm going to go ahead and try and take that tower. Ooh, this is going to be a very tough defense, though. Let's pull back this Electro Dragon. Oh, God. Guys. Guys, we need the tank everything. No, guys, 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 no, guys. Guys, guys, uh, uh. Oh, wow, that's really unfortunate, guys. I looked away and all of a sudden my tower is gone. Must have been a glitch or something. I don't know. Man. Truly unfortunate there. But it's fine. Onwards to the next match. Okay, my recording didn't start, but we're against bouncing here. He had, like, I think a 517th ladder finish or something. So pretty good ladder finishes coming out from this guy. Let's see if he lives up to the badges named or not. Looks like he's playing a pump deck of some sort, so he probably has a Rage or Barb Barrel for this. He does pull up the Musketeer. Pretty interesting. Uh, let's go for a Ram Rider here. We'll take care of this bandit. Might have E-Barbs for it. Let's see. Okay, he actually pulls out the Skelly Drags, which is pretty interesting. I thought I knew what he was playing, but now I'm not so sure. Let's go for our Dark Prince on this, and then let's go Battle Healer the tank for the Skelly Drags and take care of the pig somewhat. You know, Battle Healer is called Battle Healer, but she's not very good at battling. So. <laughs> but that isn't her main purpose anyway, so it's fine. Battle Healer gets a pass for now. Ah, oh, doesn't lock onto the Hog. That's unfortunate. We are gonna just gonna have to take this uh, bandit hit here. Ah, oh, didn't even hit the stupid heals for you. Couldn't go. Come on, man. You had one job. All right, Ghost will clean out the push. He's not a janitor, but he does well at that, I guess. He's gonna get a hit or two on the musky. Three would be very nice. Okay, and I see actually does. I'm getting the third, so we don't have to worry about that musketeer anymore. Let's go ahead and place your skelly bear on the middle. Does have a he does have skelly dragon for it though, which isn't exactly what we're looking for. Hmm. I can go for a talker right now. Okay, let's go for a dark prince and take care of the skelly drags. Want to take care of them, but just distract them. Dark prince is one a hunk of a man, so skelly drag can distract it pretty easily. So then we're gonna have to go for our prince and battle healer. Royal hog will get healed a little bit, but royal hog was already max health anyway, so it's not like it really <laughs> did anything. He's going to have to do something about this prince. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he wants the prince shoving his long lance up the tower. Healer is going in on the right there. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. So let's go for a hog skelly barrel push over here so the musketeer doesn't target my hog rider. That's why I didn't do it in the middle of the river, the more you know. Then let's go for our ghost to take care of this musketeer. Pretty decent. Dark prince to predict his pigs with the bandit. He doesn't end up going pigs with the bandit, which makes me kind of look a little bit silly. But that's fine. Go Ram Rider over here. I'm not sure if he can defend or not. Ah, he does have the Mega Knight. Interesting. He's going to have to take care of this uh, Prince. Prince, unfortunately, will get stopped in his tracks. Now let's go for our Hog Rider Skelly Barrel push. There is no chance I defend that tower, so I'm not going to tr try. Uh... Let's just say I didn't necessarily realize my other tower was that weak, so I didn't defend it that much. Um, that might have screwed me over, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's about the uh, friends we made along the way. Okay, let's go for our Ram Rider. Hop over the river. Okay, well, it uh, looks like we probably lost. Can't lie. Let's heal this prince up a bit. Not that it'll do anything. And yeah, unfortunately, our tower does get taken down by the Royal Hog from Clash Royale. Not, not what we were looking to see, but, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to use this deck... You know, I don't even need to say it, um, but I will. Don't. 
it's definitely not the worst deck I've ever used, but that doesn't mean a lot. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. If, 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 what, if, come on, man, if it would cut.